Hey, what's up practitioners? Grayson Carter here and welcome to another video on how to get more clients from your health profs profile. So before we get into this strategy, I just want to kind of zoom out for a second and get into the mindset of the person that's visiting your profile. So most people that are going to be on health profs or looking at your profile, they're really just in research mode at this, at this point. There's probably only going to be a small percentage of the people that visit that are ready at that moment to click a link, book a call, schedule an appointment, um, and move forward with working with you. So let's just say out of maybe like 100 people that visit your profile, maybe only three to five people are ready at that moment to book, a, book that call or book an appointment. So what do we do with those 95 other people that aren't ready to book that call yet? Well, we want to have something that allows us to open the conversation with them so that in the next several weeks, several months, even several years, when they are ready to do something about that problem, that they're coming to you about uh, helping them solve it. So how do we start this conversation um, and how can we use our profile to kind of open this dialogue between the two of us, even if they're not ready to book an appointment right now? So let's just hop in. I'm walking you through this strategy and I'll show you how to implement it onto your profile. So in your profile, what I highly encourage you to do is to offer some sort of like free report or video or blog post, article or interview or really any other asset that you have that would appeal to your ideal client. And basically all we're gonna say is, hey, if this is something that you want, just shoot me an email and I'll send it over to you. So I'll show you an example here in a second, but what we wanna be keeping in mind is that what we're giving away should only appeal to your ideal clients. Um, it should be something short and sweet that they can consume in just a couple of minutes. We don't wanna be sending them like a 75 page ebook um, or something that is gonna take them forever to consume. As, as much as we can, if we can make it like a simple one page report, um, maybe a, a five minute blog post, something like that that's gonna be really easy for them to consume that'll appeal to those ideal clients and it'll help them take a step in the right direction in solving their problem. So. What I want you to do is look at the assets that you already have. So like I said, either that's videos, blog posts, articles, uh, if you've done interviews, look at something you already have as something that, that you can give away. Now, if you don't have anything at this point, that's okay. All I want you to do is come up with the title of what it would be. So like a free report um, and come up with the title of it. And we're gonna use that. Now, I don't want you to actually create it yet because um, we don't actually know if people want it yet. We can create it later once somebody asks for it. Um, so if we come up with a title and we put it in our profile and we say, hey, if you're interested in this, reach out. As soon as they send us an email and say, hey, you know, send me the report, great. Now we can go spend an hour or two, we can put the report together and we can send it off to them. But if nobody ever asks for it, then we don't have to put our time into creating something that nobody wants. So I don't want you to create anything if you don't have anything in place yet. All I want you to do is come up with a title. So what am I talking about? Let's, let's look at an at example here. So here's an example. If uh, let's just say your expertise is working with people with Hashimoto's. Well, uh, a great like way to do this would be uh, to put in your profile. Hey, if you're dealing with Hashimoto's, I've put together a free report, three supplements every Hashimoto's patient should avoid. To get it, just send me an email at Grayson or support at GraysonCarter.com with report in the subject line, and I'll shoot it over to you. So what we've basically done here is we've offered something of value to somebody that would be our ideal client. And it's a way for us to start this dialogue without them actually having to schedule a call with us or schedule an appointment, um, but it allows us to open that conversation. Um, so here's kind of the, the template that you can use. Basically just say, hey, if you're dealing with blank, and that should be the, the specific problem that they have, um, I put together a free report or a free video or a free blog post, whatever that may be, and then you can just put the title there. To get it, just send me an email at and then plug in your email with report in the subject line, or you can say with video in the subject line, whatever that is in the subject line, and I'll shoot it over to you. And so this is kind of a, a more conversational way that we are able to deliver a lead magnet to, to our prospects. Um, instead of just going to our website and trying to download something, it's, it's a more uh, casual conversation. It doesn't feel like, um, oh, go opt in for this, for this report. It's just like, hey, if you want it, send me an email and I'll send it over to you. It's, it's really casual, it's really low pressure and it works really, really well. So where do you actually put this into your profile? Well, let's hop over to a demo profile and I will show you. All right, so here we are inside a health profs profile and you can find this section uh, under edit profile, 
down under personal statement. Now, I think the best place to put this is down at the very end in paragraph three, where it says any special factors unique to you or your practice. I think that's a great place to put it. Um, and you can drop in this template here and you can see that it fits within the 50 word max. Um, you may need to tweak it a little bit if your subjects or if your title is a little bit longer, but at least you kind of get the point here. You have something to, to start with. And then once that's published, it would look like this over here. Uh, this Abby was kind of kind enough to let me uh, use her profile as an example, um, but this is not her niche. So, uh, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes, but you can see here, this is going to show up right here at the end. Um, with a little, uh, you know, kind of stands out that says, hey, if you're dealing with this, you know, shoot me an email and I'll send it over to you. And so this is a way that if somebody isn't ready to call or, you know, email to, to set up a free phone consultation, that they can still start this conversation. So this is a great way that we can, uh, you know, start to engage with our ideal clients, even if they're not necessarily ready to book a call with us. So that's all for this video. If this is something that you guys like, go ahead and tap on the uh, like button for me so that I know that you're getting some value out of this. And if this is a strategy that you would like to use, leave me a yes in the comments so I know that this is, this is on the right track. Um, I'm, I'm confident that if you start using this strategy, you're gonna get some people reaching out um, asking for those reports. And so those people reaching out are probably gonna be pretty darn good clients um, for you in the future. So I highly encourage you to implement this. Again, let me know uh, with the likes and the comments if this is something you want me to make more of. If I get, if I get a lot of uh, uh, engagement with this, I'll go ahead and make some more videos. Um, but I highly encourage you to try this out and I hope you got some value out of it. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.